So we're in power chart and you want to set up a patient list. Let's say based on location. So we'd like to create a list of the patients on ward four. So the first thing we would do is go to the toolbar and select patient list. We then need to select the spanner icon or list maintenance. This then gives me a choice on the left of already available lists, but there isn't one there for Ward 4, and my active lists. I have none at the moment. I can select up to 10, but I'm going to make a new list. And as I said, it's going to be based on location. So I then need to click on the plus sign to expand the locations to see the different services. I then click on the plus by Milton Keynes General Hospital and again to see the buildings and areas. You'll notice a little nurse's hat icon for areas that have inpatient and uh, more of a wheelchair icon for ambulant patients. We'll scroll down this list to find Ward 4. Put a tick in that box. If that's the only location I want, that's all I need to do. Now, just to make sure, I only really want patients who haven't been discharged. So I'm going to click on that as a criteria as well. If I would like, I can change the name, but actually that seems an OK name and then I then click on finish. What we should now see is that in the available lists here's Ward 4. If I click to highlight it and then click the left to right arrow it will move into my active lists. If that's the only list I want to select I click OK. And now every time I go to patient list the list of Ward 4 patients will be available. If I want to, by clicking on the top of the, each column, I can reorder the list. I might want to look at it by service or by date admitted. Clipboard icon here tells me there are new results. For some of the patients, if it's been entered, I can see the reason for their visit. I want to go back to the home page at any stage. I just click that icon on the toolbar. My list will still be there in patient list as an active list whenever I want it.